Hey, what's up guys? This is iTechRoll11, and this is the Ultra Clear Ballistic Glass Screen Protector from Tech Armor for the iPad Air. Now, Tech Armor is a great company that is my go to company for all screen protectors, especially their Ballistic Glass series. I really prefer them to any other company on the market. And with this, you get a lifetime warranty and great customer support, so you should feel really secure about ordering anything from Tech Armor. Now, including in the packaging is absolutely everything you could need for applying this, and even some extras. The first thing you see, we have the screen protector itself, and a couple of little suction cups to apply the screen protector better. And these you can use, or if you don't really want to, you don't necessarily have to, but it's definitely nice that they included them. Now, the first accessory you get is a thank you card, which also has some satisfaction reports, it has some warranty information, has some installation guides and some resources you can check online for better installation guides if you want to check out an online YouTube video. Now you also get a dust removal sticker, a microfiber tech armor branded cleaning cloth, a bubble removal card which can also be just taken in place with a credit card or any type of flat card for removing the bubbles, and then we have some alcohol swabs or cleaning wipes which can be used to further clean your screen, get rid of oils and fingerprints, which I usually don't use, but you can also use them if you want to. Now the last thing you have is a white and black home button sticker. Now this makes it a little bit easier to press, especially because there's a little bit of a divot where the screen protector rises, uh, and they also look kind of cool, so if you want to apply that, you can. Now for installations for screen protectors, I always start out by using my own microfiber clean cloth. Then I use the dust removal sticker a few times, I usually use about three of them. And finally, I used Tech Armor's own cleaning cloth for one final wipe down of the screen. And I went ahead and applied the two suction cups. And then I went ahead and peeled off the entire back section of the screen protector. A lot of people will say only take off about half, but I generally take off the whole thing. And then what I did is aligned it with the home button since that's the only cut out on this screen protector. And once you have that, you just kind of set it down and align it. Now the bigger device you have, generally the harder it is to install screen protectors. Now this was a little bit harder than like my iPhone 5 version of the screen protector, which I absolutely love, but it wasn't too hard either. Now with this installed, you can see that I did a pretty decent job installing it. I don't really have any major dust bubbles, and if you do, they generally go away within 24 hours. But if you don't, Tech Armor has some videos on their YouTube channel, which I'll try to link in the description for help removing the bubbles. But essentially, this is a very thick screen protector that ultimately resembles a second screen on top of your original screen for added protection. Now, overall, I was very pleased with the result of this screen protector. It was pretty good. There's a very small amount of unresponsiveness on the screen. However, the more you use it, the more that goes away. Now, it's also very smooth, especially on the areas around the screen on the bezels. You run your finger across it, you can tell it's very smooth and feels very nice. Now, it's also, it gets a little bit more fingerprints than without it. However, you do get a ton of scratch protection, and the viewing angles are still pretty good. Now, I haven't had any rainbows or any scratches with this, and that's really to be expected. This is a really high-quality, solid screen protector for any budget, and it's just really, really nice. Now, another nice feature of the screen protector is the fact that it still works with the smart cover and a smart case if you wanted to use it with that for even added protection. Now, because this screen protector is pretty thick, it will slightly reduce the amount of magnetism that the smart cover has, so that means that it will fall off slightly easier, but that really shouldn't be too bad of an issue because your screen will still be protected because of the screen protector. So again, it still works with a smart cover, not perfectly, but still good enough that I wouldn't have any issues using a smart cover with this screen protector. So overall, this is a pretty solid product. It has its flaws, and its price point is a little bit up there at around $49, but I still would recommend it for the protection and value that you get. 